it's it's seven down here, but we won't go through all of them. Let's see as we're looking. Uh, number four, lying to others, covering up the addict's behavior. I think that's the one that happens quite a bit. You mm-hmm. agree? Well, shoot. Um, if we're gonna keep using R. Kelly as an example, um, his brother was saying how he covered it up at first because, you know, he admitted on an interview that, you know, that's his brother and he was like, you know, I love him, you know, and so I was like trying to warn him and tell him, dude, you need to change your behavior. Okay. Even though he already knew he created the, he had committed the act already. Okay. But then later he switched it up and was like, okay, he want to sing like a sailor and tell. Okay. Tell the truth. But he was protecting him at first and there's a lot of people that's still protecting him. Okay. And then... You even find victims will do that. Okay, and then another one, because like I said, this is seven, but we're just going to give two. So the second one, I really believe that's uh, another, uh, along with covering up and lying for them, I feel, my opinion, I feel that this happens quite a bit as well. Prioritization, meaning when the rent is due and you the person, you're enabling them, and you know you got bills and you're willing to let your rent go, but to pay theirs. So if a rent is due and you give a few hundred to it, up it to your loved one with the full knowledge that they're going to use it to get high, you're damaging yourself and others around you. Any comment yeah. to that, Miss Vicky? Um, I mean, it's a true, true statement. Um, usually there's other things associated with how that goes down, but yeah, at the end of the day, there are victims that will. Um, or enabler, shall I say, that will, um, you know, put the, put somebody else above their own needs. And we're giving you guys a lot of information, so, you know, you can look it up. Um, moving on to the next phase of talking about victims, enabler, enablers. Uh, this is, this, this personality, if that's the right word to say, Miss Vicky. Yeah. Uh, where you could be considered a narcissistic and this is Miss Vicky's area. She has yours been around. too. Oh, okay. Well, you've done a little bit more research than me, <laughs> man. I know a little, but you know, hey, so we still learning together. Uh, there girl. we go. There we go. Believe me, I just want to say this before we go into the narcissistic uh, personality. Um, me myself, uh huh, I have been in the victim role. Um, I have been in that situation. Matter of fact, quite a few times. And I'm learning how to not put myself or allow myself to be in a victim uh, position. Um, Let's just say this. One of the things that I've learned, actually, shoot, I think I've always done that, but it's just gotten better over the years, um, where I don't stay long as a victim. Like, some, there are some people that, you know, because that's something else to talk about, too. Like the length of time that people stay. In yeah, victim, yeah. Yeah, that's a whole other a, show. Um, yeah. Victim uh, situation that, that they are victim to a relationship or whatever. But um, there's a lot of people that stay a long time and there's a lot of people that don't, you know. So I'm the one that, um, you know, I don't stay in a, uh, I don't stay a victim long. Like, I'm a fighter. Amen. Um, I think, I believe that one of the reasons why I end up being in that situation, because I always felt like I could help somebody. Yes. And then I end up <laughs> being victimized in the end. Um, however, um, so getting to what we're talking about as far as um, victims, what, what part did you want to talk about? Um, I have to make I have to make a correction. But before we go into talking about what a narcissistic is, we have to talk about the next part of our, the victim having the victim mentality. And I did not know what the heck victim mentality was, or anything like that till right now. So we're going to give you the meaning of victim mentality, and then we're going to uh, summarize an article that we found. Uh, we need victim mentality. Um, hold on. I forgot to put victim, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Here we go. Well, when you're talking about victim mentality, yeah. That's, okay, so that's, you want to give us the... Well, you could go ahead and read the definition, and then I'll give you my pointers on it. Uh, I don't like that. 
I was just looking at the source, you know. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I, <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, when I was in school, the one thing they told you when you're looking up sources, don't be looking up at Wikipedia. Wa- what is that? Why can't Wikipedia? Wikipedia. Well, to be honest with you, what? The, all the definitions are going to be similar. So we don't necessarily. Um, okay, so we'll go back. Go on up. And we'll, read it. Go read it. We're going we to have open mind. It says victim mentality is an acquired personality trait in wow. which a person tends to recognize or consider themselves as a victim of the negative actions of others and to behave as if there this were the case in the face of contrary evidence of such circumstances. Victim mentality depends on clear thought process and attribution. Okay, so I'm gonna let you share so, a little bit more. So now. basically there's there's one there's two there's two things. Mm-hmm. One is a person that's a victim and mm-hmm. there's another one that has a victim mentality. Okay. That's different than being an actual victim. Okay. Victim mentality is like it's always something going on. Like you're <laughs> always complaining. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You you feel like you can't um um you know, it's it's always somebody else's fault why you can't get something done. Oh man. No. You know, um it's always somebody else's fault. Even to the point where sometimes people that have been uh abused as a young child. Yes. They'll that's victim mentality. Okay. When you when you you use like okay, you say, "Oh, I was abused as a little girl. That's mm-hmm. why I have this problem with um that's why I have this problem with um, dealing with men. Or okay. That's why I have this problem with being assertive or whatever the case may be. And I'm not even slighting people that have been abused. Yes. However, there are so many resources out there. Okay. And sometimes people don't want to reach out and get help. They want to stay in that mold. And then some people, they complain a lot and don't want to accept help. Amen. So, with we're going to... Um, share some more information to back up what Miss Vicky is saying. Um, this article comes from psych, psychcentral.com and it says 10 warning signs of having a victim mentality. Um, you know, we do this research, but sometimes when we be doing research, I'll be like, dang, I don't even want to research no more because I might find out something about my dang self. So, <laughs> um, one of the 10 things is for a victim, you know, it's scary. It's like, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. hold up. Here we go. We'll join the call. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, anyway, so 10 things. So, this is one thing um, that lets you know that you have victim mentality. You do not take action or give up. Okay, well, I know that ain't me, and I know, sure, know that ain't Miss Vicky. Okay, you lack self confidence and self belief. Mm. It depends on what it is. Well, wait a minute. Before yes, you wait go a minute. on, yeah. I just wanted to read underneath what they mean by you do not take action or you give up. Okay, go ahead. Elaborate. It says you find any possible reason why it's not going to work out. Making excuses and giving up before you get started. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. You that is to... a victim mentality for real. <laughs> You just didn't know. We didn't know it was called that. So we been this, uh, also, it says it's not fun to put effort into something if you are not confident it will work out. Okay. And so that's what happens. So because sometimes, I mean, you know, our all of our listeners, listeners, we cannot assume are Christians or even know about a faith at all or know the, about the the what you say of faith. You say a faith. A faith, have a faith belief. Oh, yeah, system. you left out that have. I'm like, what word have, is that? Have a faith belief <laughs> system. But my point is, is that some things you just have to walk by faith. Amen. So, what's another way to say that? With it not seeming like it's a uh, faith based thing, um, you, you just, just have, have to have confidence. To, no, you just have to um, um, do it and don't think about it. Don't think about make it happen. Yeah, just um, I'm trying to think of another way of saying um, to walk out on faith because everybody is not a believer, so they may not understand that. I understand. So, so just walk like it out. You just trust that you're doing the right thing. You put you know one foot in front of the other and just do you, it. You look at all the all the um, she was about to say evidence. Okay. Yeah, evidence too, but <laughs> all the resources that you have, and 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 you're just gonna have to trust somebody, and then you just take, you know make that first move and you know usually this is talking about somebody that's in a domestic violence relationship okay but it could be it could be like 
a, a promotion on a job. Right, right, right. It don't have to be domestic violence. It could be a promotion on a job. And because you have that victim mentality, you always think, oh, I ain't going to never make it because they don't like me. And they corrected me the other day. So they made me feel like a failure because they make me right. feel like I can't do my job right. They ain't nobody said that. Okay. When people correct you, it's because they want you to be better. Okay. You have to be. You have to accept collective criticism, right? Yeah, same there. So you want to go to the, another one? Yeah, let's see. You let negative self belief sabotage your choice in life. You deplete yourself until you need support. Okay, wait. Don't just be reading it and don't explain it. Man, you know we on a time limit, man. <laughs> don't read it if you feel man. like you gotta go fast. Okay, what you see something you want to so read? So you let negative self belief sabotage your choices in life. You know what that makes me think about? Oh Lord. Um, I remember I don't remember how old I was, but it was one day I ran into some people that I knew that I grew up with. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna tell you. Sometimes we are, our mind, just like victim mentality, we can have a poverty mentality. Yes, 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 yes. And so we were having a discussion on how much rent, and I'm talking about these were able-bodied folk, they wasn't disabled, um, they weren't even on drugs or nothing like that, like, they could have been doing, you know, in other words, I'm saying that they were living in the projects. Okay. And they had been raised in there, but they didn't see a way out of it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, wait, me and you, matter of fact, they had on nicer clothes than me. Mm-hmm. Um, they might've been driving a better car than me and everything, but I was paying like the regular rent price, mm-hmm. going to work. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why aren't they doing that? Because people make excuses. Okay. They'd be like, oh, well, I don't want to lose my section eight or, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a job instead of going to get the education you can get yes. to get a better job or go get the training that you can get to get a better job. So I'm saying that sometimes that's how people, they, they self-sabotage their situation. Okay. I'm so like glad you said that. They rule it out already. They just be like, nah, that ain't going to work for me. Like they don't even want no advice. Yeah, I'm so glad you said that because that was so profound. And I was all caught up in your story. I was going to say, which one we on now? Okay, I'm glad you said Yeah, we're, we're on the one that okay. said you let <laughs> negative self-beliefs sabotage. Wait, you taking it away. Sabotage your choices in life. Okay, so mm-hmm. we on, I, I, I don't know how much more time we have. So uh, let's go into the narcissistic. The narcissistic. And then we can, you know, wrap it up. We still got a lot. We, still we got going? about 15 minutes okay well help us stay on track then cause <laughs> I don't want you to be like it, let me ah uh, we gotta go cause I gotta play my song you know how I mean about my song I, gotta, <laughs> I have to give a minute well, to play my song well what else did you want to share oh the narcissistic the narciss- we can do one more of these you wanna do one more uh-huh. Okay, let's no, do... No, we can go to narcissistic. Okay, now let's go into the narcissistic. Okay, you can handle that. Yeah, let me... Thank you, teamwork. Whew, that's what I... I don't know why, but I'm always attracted to narcissistic men. Oh, God. For real. Oh. That's, that's a problem. Well, we gonna be And praying. I know I'm not alone. <laughs> we gonna be praying Because I feel for like, B. you know what? What? We do this podcast, I'm gonna be transparent. Okay, go ahead. And I mean, I ain't gonna take all my business. You sure? So while your ears is getting on fire, don't think I'm finna just pour it all out. Because if you want the business, uh, you want to rock by that book I write. Yes, yes. Anyway. It's all the way, folks. But all the way. that's a trip, how you can be... Nar- um, but so, anyway, I mean, be attracted to narcissistic personality people. Um, But I know that coming up, I've always been like, I didn't like um, guys that talk proper oh uh, she didn't like them the nerdy. <laughs> didn't, she didn't like the nerdy guys no, she didn't like younger. the steve urkels oh, man. Yeah, I didn't like them. man when anyway. i should have because yeah. those are the ones that, man i'd yeah. probably be doing real well property all over the place. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it's not too late miss vicky <laughs> it's not too late so you guys that are really really intellectually smart say it's not too late don't tell my business <laughs> <laughs> oh y'all was supposed to tell my business okay well it's not too much but late for me see for me you know i was told i won't say who that person told said it to me because you know you have to watch out for the source and what people say to you because everybody that says stuff to you is not always in your corner but i was told that i was undercover you know because i go to school and because i don't talk a certain way 
that I kind of get 